Now that we've configured our basic workgroup parameters, let's go back down here and look at the workgroup membership and the workgroup call handling. Clicking on Edit Agents will bring up a list of extensions defined in your PBX system. On the right side of the screen are the various members of the work group. So it's very simple. Let's say that we want to take Jessica Tandy out of the work group. We'll just remove that person. And let's assume we want to add Gandalf to the work group. We'll just go ahead and add him. You have the option also of double clicking a particular member. And the administrator can log that person in, log them out, put them in wrap up, and uh, set their client type. Now, typically, if they have a work group agent client type, Logging in and logging out is something the agent will do. In another film clip, I'll show you the uh, work group call manager. This is typically used by the system administrator if you're just using one of the personal or the professional work group call manager. So once you've got your agents selected, go ahead and save that. And at that point, you have now developed the list of agents. Let's return uh, to the work group that we're setting up. And let's now take a look at edit the queue handling. So we're going to take a look at queue handling here. What does this mean? Well, if you recall, down here we said if everybody's busy, Let's go ahead and queue the caller until someone becomes available. This is where we're going to define that capability. So click on Edit Queue Handling. That will bring up, I don't have a WAV file recorded for this, and that's why that screen's popping up. But it'll bring you to a screen that enables you to define your workgroup call handling. Basically, will I allow agents to cherry pick calls from the queue? Keep in mind that on their call manager, they can see who's in queue. Are you going to allow them to pick those agents? Check this box. You have the ability at this point to define multiple steps. So in this case, everybody's on the phone, so we're going to step one. Step one says, um, you know, we love you. Please hold the line. The next available agent will be right with you. And then we're going to play 60 seconds of music on hold before we go to step two. And step two might, you know, we still love you. Uh, please stay on the line for the next available agent. Or if you'd like to bail out, leave us a message, press zero. So down here in this part of the screen, we have the ability to transfer the call, repeat the prompt, go to some other menu to provide options not unlike an automated attendant option um, when you're setting up automated attendance. If you hit the record button here, uh, assuming you assigned a particular phone to do recordings, that phone will ring. You'll be able to record this greeting and so on. So we set up our various steps, the time that the caller will wait in queue before going to the next step, and ultimately what to do if we actually go through these steps and get to the last step, you'll have to plan some type of uh, solution there to have the call go to voicemail. So at the end of the day, this is basically what it takes to set up a work group called the Actors Help Desk. Make sure you record your files so you'll continue to get that error. And at this point, just select the way that you want the agents who are a member of this group to be notified of an incoming phone call. This extension can be placed in an auto attendant menu as a selection. Press 1 for the Actors Help Desk and it'll go to extension 850. So you can assign a DID number um, or map a DNS 
number to this work group so it can be dialed directly from outside the company. That's it. That's all it takes to set up a work group.